Hello everyone, I am Nisha and in this tutorial we will understand master pages and how to implement the same in ASP.NET. Master page gives us a way to give a consistent look that are required on multiple pages of website. Not only give a consistent look, master page also give a centralized way to do the changes and those changes will reflect to all the web pages automatically. Let us look at the basic terminology that needs to be understood before starting with master page. You should be familiar with these three concepts that master page that gives you a consistent look throughout your website. Second one is your content page. The content page in the ASP.NET web page that will use the master page to have the common UI element. And the last one is content placeholder. A content placeholder basically a control that should be added on the master page which will reserve the area for the content pages to render their content. Now I already discussed the same layout in the previous video sessions that this layout can be designed or created with the help of simple HTML. In this template I have created a website header, a menu, a website footer and the section that will change page to page. But now we will design the same with the help of master pages. So for the demonstration let's move to the visual studio. On the default.aspx page I am using the same table tag which I have discussed with you earlier in the previous session. In this table tag I have three TRs that will create the three rows. Inside the first TR I have one TD that will display the website header. Move to the second TR. In this I have two TD. The leftmost TD will print the menu and the right TD will print the content that will change page to page. And move to the last TR that will contain a single TD that will display a website footer. But now I don't want this. I want to implement the master page. So to implement the master page, I need to add the master page. So move to the add new item and select master page. As you can see the master page has an extension of master. You can give the master page name as per your, your choice. As now I set the name as site dot master. Now add this master page. When you will add the master page you will see two content placeholder element here. So remove this content placeholder. Now see the table tag which I have added on the default page. I want the same layout to be displayed but with the help of master page. So I am eliminating this code from here and add the same code inside the div, set, div tag of master page. Now move to the design page. You can see your master page is ready. But see, move to the second TR. In the second TR, we have the second TD which will display the content section. So here I need to add the content placeholder that will change page to page. So move to the toolbox, you will see a content placeholder control here. Simply drag this control inside the, this TD. I am simply printing here section that will change page to page. Move to the design part. You can check the same layout, a website header, a menu, a website footer and the section that will change page to page. Now I want to add a content page that will use this master page as a consistent look for the website. So to add the content page you need to right click on the site.master and click on add content page. As you will click on the content page you can see you are not getting any HTML code. So this is very important thing to remind that whenever you use any content page you don't have need to add any HTML code. You will see only a one tag that is your content page. And on the directive, you can check the master page file and its attribute is set to master.site.master. It is the same as the name of your master page. 
so this is the way through which you can add the reference of your master page to the any page to make it is a content page now you can check the content page here having an attribute content placeholder and its value is set to content placeholder 1 which is same as of the content placeholder id so this is the way through which you are substituting the section whatever you will put the controls inside this it will be substitute in place of this as of now i am printing a simple message here this is default to page using master page now run to this run to this website as you will run the default 2.htx that are using a master page you can see the same con same layout that i have designed on master page will be visible on default 2.htx and check this is default to page using master page this is the content page which will change page to page so again if you want another page using the same layout you need to add the same process here again you will add the default three page dot asx and you will move to the same content id and change the text or control according to the requirement so this is about the master pages so now let's do the summary and cover the main points you to need to be remember while using master pages the first one the master page has a extension dot master and the second important point html body head section will not present on content page except the content control the next point is content page are associated with master page with attribute master page file of page directory that will help you to associate your content page with master page this is for today thank you for listening